What's going on YouTube? It's Canadian Mike here and today I've got for you guys my top 10 forgotten video games of the 90s. I'm just going to jump right into this list so I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Number 10. Toe Jam and Earl. When I seen this game was in the PlayStation Store, I flipped shit. And when I seen that it was on for only $5, I felt like Billy Madoff after his first scam. When was the last time you put on a little Toe Jam and Earl, used Icarus Wings to fly over to level zero and chill in the hot tub? Don't think that this game has aged poorly because it hasn't. The music is still top notch and the gameplay is still as fun as it ever was. Number 9 Streets of Rage 2 A couple years after the release of Street Fighter, a bit before Mortal Kombat was made, we had Streets of Rage. This side scroll and beat em up game series had a rather mediocre storyline, but was just plain awesome for its time. I mean, who didn't love playing as Skate doing that weird spin thingy that he does? Yeah, that. Number 8 Eco the Dolphin Playing this game as a kid, the story was pretty interesting. Playing as a dolphin, defending the earth, and all that other stuff. But when you sit and think about it nowadays, it would be kind of crazy. In Eco the Dolphin, you play as a bottlenose dolphin that travels through time to fight aliens in Earth's oceans. Who came up with these ideas for games back then? Number 7 Super Star Wars If you asked everyone that has ever played this damn game what they thought about it, it would begin to sound like a broken record. Hard, 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 extremely hard, 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 so hard, oh my god that game is hard. Right out the gate when you start you're swarmed by flying things and giant scorpions. And oh my god, this game is so overwhelmingly fast. Number 6. Snatcher. Right from the start, this game had us all sitting on the edge of our seats for the opening scene with its Terminator-like feel. I mean, anybody could be a robot. Even you. Even me. This game was more like an interactive movie than anything, I swear. With every cutscene leaving you sitting back watching and wanting more. Number 5 Earthworm Jim. I gotta say, right off the get go, this game has the best audio I've ever heard in any game, hands down, no arguments. The music and sound effects are pure awesome and it's so damn catchy. The graphics were freaking awesome for their time too, and it's a shame because this was one of the best games ever made, but it's so underrated. Number 4 Bug The thing I loved about Bug wasn't its 3D graphics that everyone went nuts about, but the fun little puzzles that the game was filled with. It was actually a pretty peaceful game compared to the fast paced action games we were so used to having Sega shoved down our throats. Nom nom nom. Number 3 Nights in the Dreams Nights in the Dreams was like Sonic the Hedgehog if he were out on the town one night and gobbled down too many magic mushrooms. It's a wacky action game where you fly and collect coins and do spins and why does this game look just like every other Sega game released in its era? Number 2 Cooler World Cooler World was one of the first PlayStation 1 games to be released. In Cooler World, you play as a beach ball and solve complicated as all frickin' hell puzzles on this floating platform. How many puzzles, you ask? There are 150 frickin' puzzles that get bigger and longer every single level. So enjoy. Number 1 Panzer Dragoon Saga. This is the only Panzer Dragoon game in the series that isn't a shooter. Instead, it's a role-playing game, and not just any role-playing game, but one valuable one. Everything about this game was frickin' badass, from the graphics, the battle system, it was all different, it was new. 
This game was actually released so late into the year that it was limited to certain areas of the world and became a rare collector's item. The whole 4 disc set will actually set you back around at least a good $200. Crazy, right? Anyways, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to mash that like button till your browser crashes. If you got any questions, suggestions, or you just don't like me very much, don't forget to let me know in the comment box below. Peace.